one for me. I'll be right with you. Parked on the yellow line? Furthermore, you have no customs and excise license. You! Hey! Huh? Oh, so that's the attitude. <sighs> Excuse me, madam. I can't seem to get through to that dunderhead of yours. But you have no number plate. And furthermore, you have no customs. See that? Yeah, but you don't... Did you see you that? Don't understand. I was halfway through nicking him and he drove off. Give me Did you see him drive off? Give me a book. He drove off. Did you see him drive off? I know who it was. No number plates, nothing. Oh, get him. He had a little crest on the car. He drove off while I was nicking him. Do you realize that? Where shall we go for our holidays, then? Well, as far away as possible. Abroad? Yes, why not? Where do you yeah. suggest? How about there? The south of France? Yes. That's a good idea. Take the car? Yes, why not? I think we ought to get away as quick as possible, as don't as you? As possible. Right, then. Yes. That Riviera touch can open up any door. It can mean so much in happiness and more. So jump on a jet you set to get swinging attention. An aperitif will bring out the dimension. That Riviera touch will make him adore her more. He'll revere her touch forever and evermore. Cher, cher, la femme, and you can live so much. Then they don't get that Riviera touch. Will make him adore her more. He'll revere her touch forever and evermore. Cher, cher, la femme, and you can live so much. Then they don't get that Riviera touch. Then we come to Alps Maritime, and then we're at the seaside. We're on our way, Anne. Oh, yes, the Riviera. <laughs> the blue Mediterranean. Across golden sands. A lovely sunshine. Yes. And the beautiful girls. Hey, <laughs> the beautiful girls. <laughs>
Bon voyage. The car is excellent. Two men, no women. I think I can handle it. Monsieur Simpson, to come to the reception. Yes, Monsieur. Attention, please. When Mr. Simpson recently arrived from England, please report to the reception desk. Pardon. Monsieur Simpson? Yes? Uh, I regret to tell you that there was an error. What did he say? Well, it's a bit difficult, you see. It could have been my aunt Souffle has been struck by lightning. D'abord, réservation à Nice, malheur. You've got to admit it, they speak French beautifully, don't they, eh? <laughs> no understanding. Oh, uh, there's been an uh, error in the booking. Ah, yes, I got the gist of that. There's been an error in the booking. Oui. Oh, I understood that. Why are you picking it up as well? Uh, what's the trouble? No, no, uh, no, no, no. What is the trouble? Uh, there has been a, a double booking. You cannot go to your hotel. But we have a villa reserved for you, monsieur. No, no. We want to go to hotel. I never know I could speak French. <laughs> but the villa is free, no charge. No charge? No, and we will refund your deposit, uh, 300 francs. No, no, deposit was 150 Oh, I, oh yes, I see. Well, this is most disconcerting, isn't it? Eh? Well, seeing as the villa is free and, uh, you refund our deposit. We'll accept. Uh, thank you, Monsieur. You are most understanding. Oh, thank you uh, very much. Um, this is the address, uh, La Villa Tulip. Ah, Villa Tulip. Thank uh, you. Au revoir, Monsieur. Au revoir. Are we here? <laughs> What's it all about? Don't ask questions. We've got a free holiday, and you've got double your deposit back. Have I? Yes. What was all that eye twitching business and all that nudging? Well, I was trying to give you the warning. You see, well, oh, I didn't realise that. Where's the sunshine, then? What sunshine? Well, we're in France now. Yeah, but this is northern France. The weather's the same here as it is in England. Oh, is it? In another three days before we get to the sun. We're on our way, though, aren't we, Anne? You bet we are. Sunshine, here we come. <laughs> about it. It's free.
landlady? I'm Coco, the caretaker. Well, where did you come from? I live over the garage. Oh? I bring the keys. It's a bit, uh, it's a bit gloomy, isn't it? It's a bit creepy. <laughs> <clears throat> it's a long time since the last people lived here. Who were they, the Romans? The villa has a bad reputation. Not that kind of reputation. Five years ago, a man's body was found here. And no one ever discovered who shot him. He was lying on the kitchen floor. Good night, monsieur. I hope you sleep well. You can still see the blood stains on the kitchen floor. <laughs> I could do with a drink. Oh, thank you. Give me a corkscrew. I don't a mess about. Give me a corkscrew. I want a corkscrew. That's probably one in the kitchen, in the dining room. Here it is. What a mess. Look at it. What sort of people lived here? I don't know. But they certainly know how to throw a party. <laughs> Been a party in here, too. Something. I mean, even less it can bark. Well, it's gone. What's gone? The body. What are you talking about? There was a body lying there with a hole in it, just like a big polo mint. Oh, don't be ridiculous. I'm telling you, it was there. Come on. What about Rena? He can look after himself.
Monsieur le Pirate, pardon. Well? Coco says someone has been searching the villa. So? He got rid of the body. That is what he's there for. And the car? OK. He can fix it when you're ready. Tomorrow evening, tell Claudette to keep the Englishman away from the villa. I want this fixed in the petrol tank. That? What for? Jules? Petrol tank? Petrol pushes this up? What do you see? Nothing. How can you trust a fortune like that to two stupid Englishmen in an ancient car, huh? I am hoping the police and the customs think the same as you. Ali. Stay in France. What are we going to do? <laughs> Nothing. We can't afford it. Oh. We could go to the zoo. Yes. Or the museum. Pardon? All right, we'll go there. Yeah, fine. Fine. <laughs> Going there then? Where? Wherever you said you're going. To the zoo? Yes. How? Yeah. How? Go to the other place. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Fine. No, the museum's that way. Yes, I know. And wherever you're going, yes, is that way. Right. Right. Oh, okay. I'll see you later then. <laughs> bye bye. Yeah. So long. Have a good time. And you. <laughs> right. So long. Bye. Be good. Right. <laughs> see ya. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. Right. So long. Where are you going? Nowhere, nowhere, oh. no. So long. Bye bye. <laughs> you gone to the... I've been. Uh... What are you doing? What? What are you doing? What are you talking about? Fish, you're holding it in. Shut up. Let it go. Let you do it at home. <laughs> you know, when it goes... Doing. Do it, go on, let it go. Ah, now that is a real you, that is you, that. Short, fat and hairy. You stand no chance with me here. Oh, that's painful. Oh, come on. Oh, no, Matrasso, holy.
give us a kiss. How's it going? Great. Great. A knockout. I've been here ten seconds. Okay. I haven't had my face slapped yet. Really? You're right. Eh? I said you're right. What? I don't have a chance with you here. Oh. If you play beach ball, I'm finished. Beach ball? Yeah, beach ball. Just show your virility. Pardon? Look, as soon as she sees what a fine athlete you are, she'll fall for you. Well, how's she gonna notice? How's she gonna notice? I'll point you out. I'll say, look, look at that fine, athletic young man. Isn't he wonderful? I thought you were gonna point me out. That's what I mean. You're right. Call that's painful. Doesn't look an idiot. Oh, but I'm not his friend. Well, yes. I, I promised his mother I'd look after him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your friend is very energetic, no? He's all right at kids' games. Evil. <laughs> he loves playing in the sand. Never happier than when he's got his bucket of spade on the beach of Blackpool. Really? How oh, fascinating. Such a pity. I have to go now. Must you? Oh, but I would be so happy if we could meet this evening. I could have dinner together, we? Eh? I'd love to, Miss... Uh... Dubois. But please to call me Claudette. 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 <laughs> bon. So, you and your friend come to the Hotel Splendid. Oh, no, not him. Oh, Oh, but of course. Oh, oui. But I insist. And you do it so well. So shall we say, um, a neuf heure, oui? Couldn't we make it a little earlier, say nine o'clock? <laughs> bon. Oh, I look forward to seeing you both. Au revoir. Au revoir. Until then, mon petit chou. Open up, hein? It doesn't matter how you are. Oh, monsieur. Voulez-vous quelque chose? Uh, no, I roll my own, you know. Excuse me. Are you looking for me? Yeah. How did I do? How did I do? You were a smash hit. I know. I can still feel the pain. Go. Cool. I'm in with a girl. She's crazy about you. Is she? Yeah. Well, it's only natural, really, mm. isn't it? Look. Oh, I don't know why I do that. I'm in agony every time I do that, you know? She's crazy about me, eh? Crazy about you. Funny she didn't leave a message or anything, isn't it? Mm. She did. Eh? Yes, she did. Ah. She wants you to meet her at 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock? At the, uh... The, uh... Go on. <laughs> Casino? Casino. Casino. Good luck. Casino. How about that? The best man won. Say like her. She's all yours. Spoken like a friend. Not like you. Like a friend. Monsieur, s'il vous plaît. Deux francs, s'il vous plaît. Well, pay the man. That's more like you. How much? Deux francs. Have you got change of a five pound note? Oui, deux francs. Five pound note. Can you change five pound note? Recognize him, Inspector? Yes, but a jewel thief. One time associate of Pirate. Pirate's boot!
Salut, pirate Ah, Inspector, ça va I see you have been fishing. In a way, we caught a very dead body. Oh, these poor swimmers, they will never learn. This one had a bullet in it. One should never swim in that condition. You remember Renard? Renard. Poor Renard. I wonder what he was doing here. Looking for the Latour Emeralds, perhaps. You think they are here? You are here. So I am. You policemen miss nothing. Excuse me, I'm a busy man. Au revoir, Inspector. A bientôt. Allez. Nothing here. We'll search in there. You trash kitchen. Having another party. What? They're probably still in the house. Yeah, let's get out. Let's take a look around. I've had a look around. Come on. Go on. stronger than what we get at home. What's that got to do with it? You get a hangover before you've enjoyed it. Look, have a look in the kitchen and some of the other rooms. All right. What? The body. You said there was a body last time and there wasn't. However, oh, this time I'm definitely guaranteeing there won't be. Uh, 
There's no body here. Well, I was right then, wasn't I? I suppose we better clean up this mess. Come on. Right. <laughs> Peg's loose. What? That's funny. Seems to go up and down. Oh. Kogok has disposed of the body, monsieur. Bon. Hotel Splendid. They both will be with me. Bon. Now, listen carefully. Coco needs three hours to work on the car. But will they not bring the car to the hotel with them? The car will not leave the villa. Coco is arranging it. But you must keep the two Englishmen away for at least until midnight. I will. You are very cold. I will get your cognac. I'll drive you there. Oh. You know, arrive in style, chauffeur-driven car and all that. Eh? You can sit in the back. Just a minute. Why? There isn't a seat in the back. Oh, well, you can sit up front next to me. Can I? Yeah. How do I look? Be honest. How do I look? Marvellous. I feel great. I really do. What time am I going to be there? Nine o'clock at the casino. Nine o'clock. As if I didn't know. Get it going. It won't start. Leave it to me. Now, look what you've done. Well, there's one consolation. What's that? Isn't that a consolation? No. We'll have to walk, then. Come on. Hurry up, we're going to be late. Well, maybe we can pick up a lift. <laughs> Shall we need you anymore now, huh? Boy, I wish I was as lucky as you. 
Some people have it, some people don't. Yeah. I must admit, the best man won. I know. popping into the casino for a flutter. Oh. <clears throat> it's uh, nice here, isn't it? Yes. Shall we go in? Oh, thank you. Faites bonjour, madame, monsieur. Faites bonjour. Change, monsieur. Oui, mille francs. Dix mille, merci. Quatorze jusqu'à D. Mille francs. Excuse me. Bella. I'm supposed to meet a young lady here. She's about that tall, with big brown eyes, and she's about twenty-five. Bella. Vingt-cinq, oui, monsieur. Les jeux sont faits. Rien ne va plus. Mais comment il y a encore du temps? Rien ne va plus, madame. Vingt-cinq, twenty-five. Rouge, on perd et passe. Voilà, monsieur. Faites vos yeux, mesdames, monsieur. Your uh, friend is very late. Yes. He doesn't know what he's missing. Faites vos yeux, mesdames, monsieur. Excuse me. Le tout, monsieur. Pardon? Que voulez-vous mettre? Mettre? That's right. I should have met her here at nine. Quoi? Nine. Ah, le neuf. D'accord, monsieur. You like? Delicious. Oh, bon. Most English people do not like frog's legs. Sir. Really? Oh, no. Mademoiselle. Oh, merci beaucoup. Monsieur. Excuse me, but what is this? What is it? Pardon, Madame, Monsieur, pardon. Claudette, je m'excuse. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm looking for a young lady. You see, and she doesn't seem to be here. Je ne comprends pas, Monsieur. Exactly. You see, and there's only one place left where she could possibly be, and I was wondering if you happen to be going. Mais laissez-moi tranquille, hein? <coughs> Neuf rouge impériment. Encore, monsieur. Vous avez de la chance. Excusez-moi, monsieur. Que voulez-vous de cette jeune fille? Vive la France. What do you want with this young lady? Votre jeu, monsieur? Well, not anything, really. Not, not anything? anything? Qu'est-ce qu'il a dit, mademoiselle? Well, you know, nothing. Nothing? Nothing? Zero, zero, zero. Ce n'est pas des choses pareilles. Linguiste. I was only asking the lady if she'd go to the toilet for me. I mean, if she would go to the lady's toilet. Uh, assuming she, she wanted to. I think perhaps, monsieur, that after this game, you should leave, no? <laughs> Merci, madame. Ça va, j'ai compris. C'est anglais, hein? Rien ne va plus.
is this? Oh, uh, darling, while you pay the bill, I will telephone the casino to see if your friend is still there. But Claudette. There's no need to be jealous. Yeah, but you see, it's like this. I'm afraid I'm a little short. Oh, darling, I adore short men. I will meet you on my balcony. But Claudette. Darling. May I have the casino, please? Merci. Hey, now. Don't buy those, thank you. A table for three, please. A table for three, please, yes. We'd like to wait here. Yes, monsieur. This way, monsieur. Thank you. Are you sure? This is the most expensive place in town. Oh, oui, bien yes, sûr, monsieur. Good. Oh, merci, monsieur. Merci. Thank you. Thank you. Monsieur, this way, s'il vous plaît. Thank you. Now, you get the point of the joke, don't you? There were two old men sat in that chair. <laughs> One old man says it's nice out, isn't it? And the other old man says, yes, it is. <laughs> you carry on, girls. I'll, I'll see you later. Excuse me. Mesdames. So that's it. You took her to dinner yourself. No wonder you sent me to the casino. Look, never mind about that. Lend me some money. I can't pay the bill. They're gonna throw me out. Throw you out? Yes. How much does he owe? 220 francs, monsieur. Merci, monsieur. Now throw him out. I only did it for you. Oh, yeah. I brought her here at my own expense. Did you hear that? My own expense. I whined her, dined her, chatted her up, told her how great you are. She's upstairs now waiting for you on her balcony. <sighs> hey, where'd you get all that money? Oh, good enough. Tell him. He won it at the casino. Oh, he won it at the casino? Uh, didn't take you too long, did it? Just a minute. Did you say Claudette? Yes. Upstairs? Mm. On the balcony? Yeah. Waiting for me. Excuse me. I might not be back, but order whatever you like. Twice. Would you like to order now, monsieur? Yes. Egg and chips. Twice. It's you singing. Okay? Right. Now that you're here. Now, now, now that the you're moon is, the, now, now, moon now, has a, the moon has a soft. Now, now, the moon, now, the now, moon, now that. No, no. The moon has a soft. You've got to move your lips the same time as I move mine. Oh. Now that you're here. Now that the moon, the moon has a soft. Now, the moon. No, 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 no this isn't going to work. No, 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 don't look at me what I'm saying. Give me three in. Now that you're here, the moon has a moon. Put me down for a couple of quick choruses. Right. What about the verse? Here. Look after it all for me. Okay. This is it. You, the night, and the music. Music? There's always music. Now that you're here, the moon has a soft glow. The stars don't want to go. Now that you're here And 
And when you're near, fast beats my loving heart. I'll pray that we'll never part when you are near. The sweetest rose whose scent can charm the night does not delight. As much as you, my skies are blue. Now I am here. Oh, uh. I want the world to know how much I love you so. Please never let me go. No. Je la pointe mal à la d'abord des shot and dumped in the sea like the last one. The map, please. Oh, yes, sir. Another associate of Pirat? A kilometer from the same spot. No, one of his enemies, the, the Algerian Abdul. But also a jewel thief. The little emeralds are here somewhere. Of that, I'm sure. But who is going to lead us to them? A happy bonjour to you all. The suite is satisfactory, I hope. Is it expensive? Oh, but of course not, monsieur. Well, don't just stand there. Put the rent up. And now my orders for the day. Uh, yes, monsieur. Coffee on the terrace with Miss Claudette. Lunch in the restaurant with Miss Claudette. A 7.30 cocktails and dinner with Miss Claudette. A 12 o'clock bed with a hot cup of cocoa. Oh, of course, monsieur. Uh, will that be all? Oh. Oh. Merci, monsieur. Mm. One shouldn't tip the manager, should one? Oh, a little faux pas, perhaps. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. His apologies. Now, listen, you. We're getting out of here and going back to the villa. This whole thing's ridiculous. Well, go to and I will bring. And you come with me. What do you say, then? Oh, really? You, all you can think about is this Claudette. She is a beautiful girl, though. Yeah, but don't you realize she's after your money? Well, that makes two of you, then, doesn't it? Now, let's face it. She's better equipped than you are to get it. Yeah, but listen to me. What's the matter with you? Ah, oh, you've got more money than sense. Incidentally, you're right. So 
Charlie and Racine are still interested in necklaces, I see. Monsieur, coffee on the terrace. Voila. Merci. Interpol, we have reason to believe those notes are counterfeit. Where did all that money come from? Do you think they could have found them? There is only one way to find out. For the time being, we must join forces against a common enemy. Leave this to me. You see, monsieur? Thank you. Merci, monsieur. Your cap on ça, monsieur. Merci, monsieur, merci. Thank you. Your serviette, monsieur? Oh. Merci, monsieur. Still throwing your money around? <laughs> ah, well, you know, man. Easy come, easy go. Where'd you pick that up from, Claudette? Get away. You're jealous. What do you mean, jealous? All she is is a scheming gold digger, and oh, what's more... Voilà. Ah, Claudette. Bonjour, bonjour, mes amis. How beautiful you look this morning. Oh, merci. Hey. Do sit down. Thank you. Would you care for a cup of coffee? Oh, yes, please, Annie. Black or white? Ah, uh, white, please. How's that? It's perfect. Sugar? Uh, no, thank you. you know, so tell me, Eric, how does it feel to be a rich man? Marvelous. <laughs> uh, will it, uh, <laughs> well, um, change your plans? Uh, how do you mean? Well, um, will you be here longer with us in the Zissons of France? Uh, I don't know. I haven't made up my mind yet. The whole thing's ridiculous. He's buying a new car, if you please. Well, what is so ridiculous? Oh. oh. Oh, a new car? Well, yes, I mean, you know, we can't be seen around with that whole crock, can we? <laughs> the salesman's coming along this afternoon to give a demonstration. Oh, Eric, you must not sell that little car. I love it. It's yours. Oh, no. No, I... I want you both to keep it. It's, well, it's a, it's a part of you. Please, please. It's yours. Oh, the... I'll get that. Merci, monsieur, merci. Qu'est-ce que c'est que ça? Pardon? What is that funny thing? Oh, that's my money belt. Your money belt? I keep all my money in there. You can't trust anybody out here, you know. Why? They're all foreigners. Uh, Eric. Yes? May I come with you this afternoon uh, on the uh, demonstration? Oh, it's very good. Gives me a chance to look at the scenery. <laughs> Cigarette, Annie? Oh, yes, please. Yeah. Annie, darling, get it for me, please. Of course. Oh, 
from behind? Where we're going, we won't need Anne. Plunge with me. Pardon? <laughs> In the water. No, I don't think I'll bother today, you see. Oh, but it's beautiful, Lynn. Come on, darling. Unzip me. It's very nearly out. <laughs> Come on. So? Costume. I've got it on already, underneath. But you'll get your Frank's wet. My what? Your money belt. I never go in above the waist anyway. Come on. <laughs> Quickly. You are back. Yes. How did you enjoy the test? I think I passed. What did you get up to? Well, I'll tell you. First of all, when we got to the beach... Oh, you mean the speed? Very fast, isn't she? Like lightning. Uh, excuse me. You will buy it? Of course. Take it out of that and keep the change. Monsieur, sure. have you missed me? Oh, I can't. Uh, what change? It is old newspaper. Look, I don't know what you'll make your money out of, but I'll tell you this. I've been robbed. Oh, no! I've been robbed. Oh. It was Ern. Oh, no. It must have been Ern. He was the only one who knew where he was. Oh, no, Eric. Oh, smash his face in. Oh, no, Eric! Oh, no, don't do that, Eric. Get off. Oh, please, Eric. Get off. That's all I've got left. Come on. Well, he's got all the money, a new car, you. There's nothing to stay for. Oh, but, but darling, I want you to stay. What, after leaving me in the middle of nowhere? Oh, well, that was just to make you jealous. I'm not falling for that again. Oh, please stay. I'm going. Oh. I'm going. <gasps> to stay. Oh. Excuse me. Is Mr. Ernest Clark still in the hotel? I think he's just in the process of leaving, sir. Hey! Hey! Not only did you pinch all my money, but now you've pinched my girl as well, haven't you? Eric, old chap, I know it's hard for you, but Claudette and I, well, 
We were made for each other. When one person loves another... Have you lost all your money? Well, you should know you're the one who pinched it. Of course I didn't. I told you not to carry the bat with you. What do you want me to do? Leave it lying around so somebody could pinch it? But somebody has pinched it. I wasn't to know that, was I? Keep your voice down. Oh, shut up. Shut up! We're going to the police. What about the... What about the big romance? This is money we're talking about. <laughs> Where is it? Where's what? You know what I mean. We want it. Don't we all? <laughs> Don't play games with me. You must have found it. Why did you move into that big hotel? Where did the money come from? Why did you move out of the villa? So you're the fellows that tore the place apart. We shall tear you apart, too. We will give you time to remember. Five minutes. If you don't remember, then we slit your throats. I don't even know what they're looking for, let alone where it is. We've got to find a way out of here. I know. Let's go to your place. We've come to report a robbery. More. We've come to report a robbery. There's been a robbery. Yes. Yeah. Just a moment, monsieur. All our money's been stolen. But my money's gone. Yes. My, my Monsieur. My money. My money. Tell him what happened. Go on. Well, I wear a big money belt, you I see. And I've got all my money in it. He went on the beach. And I went on the I must thing. Have and your I... name, please. Yeah, but I wear this big money belt. Your name's. Ernie Clark. And Eric Simpson. With an E. Simpson with an E. And we've been kidnapped. It was terrible. We were driving along in our car. Just up here it was. Just up the road here. Yeah. Your address. Uh, Villa Tulip. It's just on the point. Tulip. Like a flower. He's come for. And he's been ransacked twice. You should have seen it. it was in a terrible state. Not to mention the two bodies. The two bodies? I told you not to mention the two bodies. Well, that's what I said. Not to mention the two bodies. What bodies? How do I know? I mean, one minute they're there, the next minute they've gone. Uh, there was. There was bodies. Dites-moi, s'il vous plaît, monsieur, la voiture qui est en bas est à vous. Pardon? Is that your car outside? Yes. You realize that you are committing an offense parking there? What's the car got to do with it? We've come to report a robbery. Unless you remove your car immediately, I shall be forced to take action. Compris? Vive la France. Oh, come on, Eck. This is ridiculous. We're just wasting our time. All we can do is talk about the car. We won't talk about the robbery. That is stupid. This may be our lead to the emeralds. The less they know about it, the better. 
Look at this villa, Julie, but once. We're onto something at last. Hello. Ah, police. Well, they're the same all over the world, aren't they? I'm all for it. Sounds great. What's it mean? The girl, Claudette. She's in this up to the hilt. Get away. Listen, you had the money when you went on the beach with her, and when you came back, the money had gone. It could have been stolen before I left the hotel. What's more, I think she's mixed up in everything else that's been going on. Well, if you feel that way about it, let's go see her, and we'll have it out. No. We won't do that. We'll play her at her own game. Get out of sight. Hurry. Dad. What are you doing here in daylight? The Englishmen are suspicious and are going to search the villa. Oh, it is essential they suspect nothing. If they have, then just the police. The police? When? One, two hours ago. We must change the plan. Let's change the plan. We must remove the emeralds from the villa right away. You must do it. Oh, no, Pierre. Yes. I... The police will not suspect you visiting your English friends. Now, listen carefully. You will go to the villa. You will go into the kitchen. Above the sink, there are two taps. First, turn the right one clockwise. Then, turn the left one, but anti-clockwise. A section of the water tank near the sink will open. The necklace is inside. I will be waiting for you in the car nearby. We may have to make a run for it in this yacht. Oh, no, Perrot, I'm frightened. I cannot... You will do it. what I say. Marcel. He must have overheard. Stupid. Claudette. There is one thing Marcel did not hear. 
Be sure to close the ventilator shutter above the sink before you touch the tabs. Why? Never mind why. Go, go quickly. You know what I think? What? I've got a leaky skin. Shh. She's coming back. Quickly. Shh. All right, that's far enough. What are you doing here? Did you follow me? Yes, and he saw everything. What? Go on, tell her what you saw. I didn't see anything. I got water on me goggles. Oh. Now, what is going on? Oh, I cannot answer your questions. Now, what is it you want? You have your money. Well, that'll do for a start. Oh, well, let me go now, and I promise in a, in a little while I will bring it here. But please don't follow me anymore, and do not go back to Sevilla. There is danger there. Just, just trust me. Do you trust that? No. Neither do I. Get changed, quick. Round the back of the house. Marcel! Marcel! You're too late, Mamsel. Karat is coming, Coco. You will go with us. We and Mamsel.
dangerous in there. It's dangerous out here as well. Yeah. Inside. I know that. She needs our help. Look. Please, let's get out of don't here. Don't worry, don't worry. Stay undercover and leave everything to us. Yes, but I... Ow! To us, didn't I? Don't worry, Claudette. Here's your case. It's, what is oh, inside no, this? Leave it here. We must go quickly, please. Missy, that belongs to me. J just a moment. Who are you? Shut up. He's got a gun. Take the case, Claudette. Bring it to me. I am ready to leave when you are, monsieur. Gentlemen, you are free to go. Waste time. Let's get after him. Oh no, please, Annie! No, not anymore. Look, we gotta get him before he kills somebody else. Come on. Gentlemen, it's a great pleasure to welcome you here. And perhaps it would have been better to leave you to drown. Take them away. All right, open them. Monsieur Inspector, oui, merci. Perrat has left the villa and is heading for the middle corniche, followed by the two Englishmen. Olivia, ready. Switch your windscreen wipers on. What will that do? Try it. Get off! Get off you! 
Yes, 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 but he's got the uh, whatever it is and Eric. I know, the helicopter needs to be here, quickly. Good, come on. from Inspector Duval to all waterborne police. All available launches to proceed immediately to the Bay of Cap. This is our Bay of Cap.
do lonches. I think he gets you through by ears, you know. Well, gentlemen, the most satisfactory day's fishing. First, we caught Pirate, the greatest jewel thief in France. Second, Mr. Simpson, was a me? Yes. Your money back. It's only money. Where did you get it for then? Where was it? Hey, hey, did you I'll get the money belt? I'll take that. Oh, yeah. Oh. And third, the letter to Emeralds. So that's what it was all about. There's in touch. Now, ici, mademoiselle. Mademoiselle Dubois. You wish to charge this woman? Certainly not. She helped us. Oh, she oh, saved our lives. Yes, she did. Mm. Oh, I was so worried. Eric. Yeah, oh, oh, no, excuse, me. excuse me. Excuse me. I'm, I'm Eric. Yeah. I'm Eric. Hello. Oh, yeah. oh. I'm Eric. And I'm Ernie. I'm oh. the good looking one with the glasses, you see. I'm and I'm, I'm the one with the short, oh, tidy legs. <laughs> Well, the best man won. Yeah, but which one of us was best man? We'll face that problem when we come to it. <laughs> 